Hello, I'm Miss Thomas and I'm going to talk you through what we offer at A-Level for Food and Nutrition. Here at St. Cyrus, we offer the Level 3 Diploma in Food Science and Nutrition. Here at St. Cyrus, we complete Unit 1, 2 and 3 over the two years. During Year 12, you will complete one unit of coursework where you will complete a full day practical exam as well as a comprehensive report linked directly to a scenario. You will then complete a written exam during the summer examinations. Here is an example of a past scenario set for Unit 1, and these are some of the dishes produced by the students which showcase high-skilled, well-balanced dishes suitable to the brief. During Year 13, you will complete both Unit 2 and Unit 3. Unit 2 is all about understanding and exploring the risks in relation to food storage, preparation and cooking. You will then progress on to writing your own risk assessment, where you will offer guidance and recommendations which will ensure food is safe to eat. This is a controlled assessment and is completed during lesson time. To complete the Level 3 Diploma, you will finish the studies off with Unit 3, Experimenting to Solve Food Production Problems. The aim of this unit is for you to carry out food science-based experiments based on the problems proposed to you by the client. This unit relies heavily on you understanding the properties of ingredients, for example, how fat shortening is essential for a short and crisp pastry. Throughout the unit, you will conduct multiple experiments and trials exploring key issues from the brief, resulting in you providing feedback to the client with your suggestions. On this slide, you can see examples of the coursework and experiments completed for this unit. From successfully completing the A-Level course, there are lots of university and college options available to you from all around the country. One highly credited course is the Food Science and Technology Honours Degree at Cardiff Met University. This course is nationally recognised and professionally accredited. This could then lead to further career choices which are listed on this slide. You can also see how many UCAS points are available for all grading levels of the course. If you would like any more information regarding the course, please feel free to email me or just pop into JL1.